salvation, we possess these attributes of God in our spirit. But it is through the process of time that they work out and become part of our minds and our bodies. All believers have become partakers of His divine nature. The, their spirits, however, it is only through the revelation of the new creation that we can become partakers of the divine nature in our souls and in our bodies. Amen? Amen. Believers can become partakers and enjoy what is already theirs by the revelation amen for the revelation that which were revealed they have already received the divine nature of God it is only as we what and I always say it all the time meditate on God's word amen and by faith right claim the promises of his word that we are actually becoming a partaker of the divine nature in our souls and in our bodies as new created spirits of his divine nature we will learn how to become partakers of the divine nature in the areas of our what souls and bodies amen souls and bodies as we continue to get into his word, what happens, remember I said, when you, when you have the word in you, what happens, you start feeling not only your health, we read it, we, we talked about that before, not only the health, but the joy comes in within you. Amen? So what? Our souls, right? And our bodies, our physical body. So as we serve in God, and we have his word, his nature is in you, what happens? Your body becomes stronger. Your soul becomes stronger. Amen? Because we're walking in the divine nature of God. Amen? And if you meditate through His Word, what the Word says? I can do all things to who? To Christ has strengthened me. Amen? I'm healed by His stripes. Amen? So see, as we verbally speak of the Matan, as we believe it, we become what? In the nature of God because we're following the Word. And we're meditating, not on our own thoughts, but in the very nature of God and in His Word. Amen? So it's so important to always remember that everything that you hear and you read, you store it in your mindset. What it's actually doing is your body and your soul is getting equipped. Amen? Because now you're getting the divine nature of God. It's in you. Amen? And those watching my video is in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you for his word. Amen. Hallelujah. As we have been presented in Christ to be what? Conform to what? His image. Amen. Now, let me break it down. The more we got the word in us, the more we become Christ-like. Amen? Amen? The more bad things you're not going to do, because you know God won't do that. Amen? Right, Pete? You know, Jesus wouldn't go smack that person on top of the head, even though sometimes some people need a little smack in the head. Amen? But your nature now becomes what? No, I can't do it in my nature. I'm doing it in God's nature. Even though my nature wants to smack him beside the head, would you say, no, I ain't going to smack him? Because that's not the nature of God. You see, because the Word is in you. So you know, okay, I can't do that. That's not the nature of God. You know, because now you recognize and you're meditating on the Word of God that it's not you. God is omnipresent. God is omnipresent in you. Amen? So now His divine nature is within you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Someone read it to me. That's a loud, amen. Because remember I said, if we speak the word, amen, into the air, right? Amen. Who has it? For whom he did foreknow, he also did pre predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, 
that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For whom he was, he foreknew that he also was. To what? To be what? To who? Amen. To the image of who? Of Jesus. Amen. I'll just put Jesus in there. And the new created spirit is created in the image of God. And Christians are to possess of this being conform to his image. In the area of their what? I'm going back again to it. To their bodies and their souls. Amen. So we're not only to have his nature, but to look his nature. Amen. Because you let's be honest, have you ever met a person, you've never seen them before, right? And you meet that person and you right away you identify with them. that's a Christian. You know, you don't even know the person. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And you can just identify right away because spirit is spirit. Because you have the same nature. If I see you, and I know you have God, the nature's there. I see the joy in her. I see the, the in, in her body, in her emotion. You see what I'm saying? And that's the divine nature of God. You can identify. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I think God is awesome. His word, every time I dip into it, the more revelation gets, the, 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 the more I say, the less I know, the more I want to know. Amen? No, I've been doing this for a long time, and I still don't know. I'm still getting in there. Amen? But what? I have my nature, and my soul, my body, is what? Transforming, you see? And my mind is renewed constantly because I stay in the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Now, the new created spirit, what is the image of God as Christians? We are to what? Our bodies and our souls. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Romans in chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I read that, which we should all know. I beseech you, therefore, what? Brethren, by what? By the mercies of who? Of God, that you present your bodies as what? A living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to who? To God. And what? In your what? Come on, in your what? In your reasonable service. In your reasonable what? Service. And do not be what? Amen? And God can work through you. 
You see? And see, these are the, the benefits and the promises that we get from God is that when you do that, what did he say? I will give you the desires of your heart. Amen? Amen. I will open up doors that no man can shut. Amen. Amen. Always positivity. Always positive things in our lives. Amen? Because he loves you. He only wants the best for you. Amen? As we begin to, to, begin to transform by making a total commitment of our bodies to God, our bodies are the temple of what? Of the Holy Spirit. And we are to present them as a what? A living sacrifice to who? To God. Amen? Amen. I'll read that again. We must begin that what? To transform by making a total commitment of our bodies to God. Right? And our bodies are to be the, are what? The temple of the Holy Spirit. And we are to present them as a living sacrifice to God. Amen. As we accept God, remember now it's no longer just us. It's the Holy Spirit that dwells within you. Amen. So now your body is the temple. You see? You receive the Lord. You ask the Lord to come in, right? The Holy Spirit comes within you. Amen. Now it's no longer you. You see? Now it's the nature of God and the Holy Spirit that's within you. Amen. Now your body is the temple of God. That's why it says about the body all the time. Present your body as a living sacrifice. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 